Hello everyone, I'm Duo, and welcome back to another video, and today we are on episode 20, so I'm actually surprised at how fast this series went. I remembered it started back the day before my birthday, or at least this server started back up the day before my birthday, which was November the 7th, so this server started on November the 7th, season 2, and we're already on episode 20, have we got any orders? Man, my audio is really loud. Um, no, it's still the whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Alright, I guess nobody's left as an order. Hang on, let me just turn down my audio. Um, because. Alright, there we go. And then we'll put that in there. Um, so basically, yeah, I've done quite a bit of work off camera. Um,. Okay, yeah, my frame rate's quite low at the moment, but I'm recording in 30 FPS right now, so it shouldn't really affect the video in any way, so that's good. Um, so basically, I've done this. So basically, I tore down uh, what I had previously. Oh dear, that... that. Never mind. Uh, but, um, yeah, so I did a bit of work here. Um, how many entities? There's 269 entities. But, um... Yeah, I've done this right here. I think it looks kind of cool. Um, and I, mo I moved a whole bunch of stuff. I'm still going to do this wall here. I, I did do a time lapse of it, but it was awful. Uh, the camera angle was horrible. Uh, so I never actually went around to uploading it. So uh, anything around here that I want to discuss? Ooh, okay. Something new is happening over there. All right. They're actually doing some work in unblandifying the wall by putting some iron blocks. That's cool. Um, I'm honestly not sure what we have to do. Uh, okay, so these are the things that um, need to be done. Okay, make sure you record what you want to do. Uh, elevators, source of gunpowder, hostile mob farm. Yes. Yes, yes. Okay, so we're gonna crack on with a hostile mob farm today. Uh, it won't. This will be my first. Well, not really my first, but one of the first. One of the first technical projects on the server um, that I've done on the server. Because so far I've just been doing aesthetic stuff, which you know is good. Um, I think I'm gonna do it. So every other video I do a buildy project. Hang on. Yeah, every other episode I do a buildy project, and every other episode after that I will do um, a technical project. Because I feel like I haven't really been doing too much technical stuff on the server lately, and I feel like I sh should contribute more to the community by doing that. So, my pick is nearly dead, so I'm going to need to repair that. I'm not sure how many levels I'll need to repair it though. Um... So I think we could scratch that um, off. Where is it? Um, okay, where is it? Hostile mob farm. Where did it go? <laughs> uh, it was somewhere around here. Okay, there we go. All right. So I'll put the equals, and I will put hostile mob farm. I think that will uh, do me well, and then I will put duo because because uh, I'm going to be doing that project. Um, okay, so I've claimed that project, so no one else will be doing it. I may ask for some collaboration midway through, but basically we need more resources because um, I mean I have a ton of resources elsewhere. If you want to see how many resources I have. I have a ton, trust right, me. So, in theory, this should work. So, yep, here you go. I never knew you could do this, but you can craft andesite, which is absolutely amazing. I never actually knew you could do that, but apparently you can. That is awesome. I found that out while playing the Pocket Edition. I haven't played that in so long. I pl last time I played it was like two or three years ago. And I played it because my cousin was asking me to, and I found out you could craft andesite. I, I never knew you could do that, but 
There you go, you learn something new every day. So now we have a ton of andesite. I can make more, uh, you know, I'm gonna be even by right, so I might as well do it. Uh, don't take nine. Right, yes, I can. Can you do multiples to make four, um, like this, and make one? So I guess it's just the, uh, like that then. That is so freaking awesome, so uh, I think I across a whole bunch of that, because I've always been on the other direction, and then I never you do that, but and you can, so that is freaking cool. Uh, <laughs> oh, that is amazing. Um, I can't just say scouting for andesite, I was finding a little bit of ages, and I'm gonna do this, it's awesome. Um, but, um, I think I'm gonna make a ton of it. Uh, I'm probably never gonna, well, knowing me, I'm definitely gonna use this much andesite. Boom. And the site for days. <laughs> While I head over to the gold farm, I just wanted to address some stuff. Okay, so 1.9 is coming out in a few days, um, and I want to tell you my personal opinion about 1.9. Okay, let's just get this straight. I love the 1.9 update. In terms of survival, it is probably the best update that's ever happened. Uh, and uh, then again, I said the exact same thing about 1.8, uh, but I, I personally think 1.9 is going to be one of the best updates that's ever come out. And that was a huge lag spike. You can see in the lagger meter, I'm spiking like crazy. Uh, but um, personally, I think it's uh, one of the best updates that's ever come out. Um, uh, yeah, um, but for PvP... Uh, I th I th I personally think it sucks for PvP, but what little do people know is you can actually uh, modify the spam click feature so it allows you to spam click. Um, so people who are some most people are in the 1.9 update are really only salty about the spam click feature, and personally that can be disabled. Why is that so loud? Um. There we go. But, uh, how much gold is in... Oh. I'll take some of you then. Um, I'll throw away this gunpowder. Wait. Server lag, please. Uh, actually, I'll, I'll, I'll just put this back in okay, here. Okay, guys, so I'm coming down here to collect some obsidian. Uh, hopefully this shouldn't be too much of a hassle. Uh, okay. Let's just go get this. I need about 20 pieces. I think, uh, hang on, what's the world seed? Do not have permission, okay, brilliant. Okay, um, so, um, I, uh, don't really have anything to talk about at this time. Do not scare me like that, there could have been lava there, and I, that could have been the end of me, but, um, it wasn't, so that's good, um, <laughs> Oh, don't scare me like that, zombie. I can see you, buddy. Can't scare me like that. Alright, good, you're dead. Um, so I need an ocean to build this on. So I need to keep hunting for an ocean biome, like quite a big ocean biome. Hopefully I'll find an ocean monument in, in the process, but, um, I felt like I wasn't doing enough on the server, so I decided to take on a technical project. And so, therefore, I've taken on the project of doing the hostile mob farm. So, um, yeah, I felt like I was only contributing to myself rather than the server. So that's why I am doing this project. And I need some gravel just so I can make a flint and steel. Actually, I do have some flint upstairs, so that shouldn't be a problem. So. Yeah, hopefully we can actually uh, get that um, done, because uh, I'm just going to take that horse, I'm not sure, but um, there's no place to anyone. I don't know what's going on, 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 well, this looks like a nice bit of desolate ocean, don't you think? I don't think there's too much going on. So without further ado, I think... Hang on, let me just, uh... Got to the surface. Okay, so, uh... Right, let's just see exactly how far we go down, because I don't think I can afford to stay underwater for very long. Um, so I think, yeah, so this is a nice desolate bit of ocean. Alright, so I need to uh, make a sort of tower under the water just so we can have a platform to put a portal on because um, I think we're at the surface now. 
good. Um, so that's our central point right there. Um, all right, we want to um, expand this a bit. So I'm going to put two bits of obsidian there, and I'm going to put the iron blocks like so because um, we are going to actually be using this very platform for uh, our portal. So if we go like this and go like this and I apologize iron looks like a quite an ugly building block but um, we've got a lot of it so yeah this project re like my unlike my other project this one isn't really aimed at aesthetics um, so I apologize for that but it has to be done this way um, let's let's just put some torches like this yeah, it doesn't seem to be any land mass around us, which is good. Hang on, I just crank my render distance up all the way up. I think the server render distance is 10. Um, so, I think... Yeah, you can only just see that island over there. You can see a bit of that over there. Oh, I found a jungle. Okay, so we're going to have to light up... I think it's in an 144 block perimeter that we have to light up so yeah um okay so we can only just see some stuff loading into view uh that is not too bad um yeah that really isn't too bad i think we can uh, cope with that uh but this island doesn't look too desolate now um okay so i think we should uh keep I think my project chests are going to go right here um, for uh, purposes to make stuff easier for me basically. We've got plenty of wood over in that direction because there's a jungle. Uh, if you remember last season, if you even watched back then, because I know there's maybe one or two people that may not have watched since the very beginning of KCraft, I think probably quite a lot of people didn't watch till since the beginning of Kcrafts. Okay, so let's light that. Uh, how far out are we? We're not too far out, actually. So this should be, uh, this should link directly up to the nether hub, and then we can dig from there. Um, okay, what, what are we doing? Project chests. Okay, so we need to, uh, stack up our project chests. Um, so I'm gonna have some here. If we can remove that, oh, okay. I do not want that to happen. I'm very OCD about the way I place chests. Um, so I think it should be placed like that. Uh, so our project chests go like that. I think that'll be good. Uh, I'm not gonna do the other side, but I think that's gonna be uh, the way our project chests are laid out. But the thing is, we can only just see those loading into view. If we're all the way up there in the sky, then all of these will be unloaded. So I think, yeah, this should be an easy, easy project. Um, this shouldn't be too difficult. Um, I'm going to make it so the mobs walk off in their own time rather than me forcing them to go down because that would involve a whole bunch of redstone trickery to get that to work. But um, anyway, we got a platform here. Uh, we got a nice little setup here. Anyway, let me just go link the portal. Okay, so this is a bit of a risk. Um, yeah. Um, so I've got to make the portal at negative 66, 82, and it seems to tell right over this lava pool, which is kind of unfortunate, but you know what? We're going to have to deal with it. Um, honestly, uh, we're going to have to wing it. Uh, hopefully we make it. Um, and if you cut back, uh, after the next clip is cut, you'll either see a clip of me crying because I've lost everything, or you will see a clip of me screaming in excitement that I made it over this treacherous thing. It's probably going to be one of the two, and it's most likely going to be the first one because this is dangerous as hell. Alright, so I've dug to the specific area. Um, so, yeah, that, that, for your information, I've completely done that. Um, and I'm worried some lava will fall on my head if I do this. So, I'm too scared to do this, but, anyways, let's give it a shot. 
I didn't... Ah, oh, okay, let's mine that. Alright, so my efficiency 5 fortune pick was short-lived, but oh well, um, we can always whip up another one. Now let's, let's just um, do that, and let's not throw our flint and steel away. Okay, so this should, in theory should link up to the mob farm, or what's going to be the mob farm. And it did, alright? So I think I'm going to get to transporting a whole load of items here, and I will be right Something back. Something I've really wanted to do for a while, I don't know why, but I've always wanted to do it for some reason, is make a whole bunch of notch apples, even though they don't do much uh, in terms of like survival mode. I mean, they're good for white fighting with us, but aside from that, they're not really used for much. Um, so I thought, why don't I waste a whole bunch of gold to make a whole bunch of golden or not chapels, whatever they're called. And yeah, um, we got all the uh, supplies ready for our iron farm, uh, which we're going to transport over right now. Um, we may transport over some more off camera if if need be, like we may run out uh, eventually, uh, because this is a massive project. Um, I just realized I needed water, but water won't be a problem because we got the iron to make buckets and we got an ocean below us, so really water shouldn't be a problem whatsoever, so that's good. Um, I just got, a, I keep getting lag spikes on Minecraft for some reason. I'm not really sure why, but um, here we go. Um, I guess I will put them in their own assorted chests. Okay, so that, and then that, uh, remove that, um, put cobblestone in there, um, and then put this iron in here. See, I've got everything sorted, and I'm going to throw all this gold in here, because I don't need it. Same with this lapis. Um, so we got um, basically everything we will need to start this farm, uh, keep this farm going, and yeah, I'm I'm hyped. So would you say we do a time lapse? Um, I I think it'll be a pretty cool idea. But if we did a time lapse, then we'll be having all sorts of fun building this thing. Um, that means I won't have to pressure of doing progress updates constantly um so i think this will be quite fun to do um so we're going to need to build it quite far up in the air um so for that re very reason we're going to need a whole bunch of ladders um so let's get even more sticks uh so this is going to make us approximately three stacks of ladders i do believe uh i'm not sure i haven't made ladders in a while uh Okay, yep, three stacks, um, and then we'll use, we'll put the rest of the sticks in the project chest because uh, we may need them in the future. Um, but we're going to be building this out entirely out of iron blocks, which I feel bad for doing because, um, because iron blocks look terrible in terms of building, but I think it should be fine. Um, so... And this looks lopsided as well. Oh, this is going to look horrible. Um, but I think I'm going to keep pillaring. And I will be right back.
Alright, so I haven't even AFK'd at this thing for like 10 minutes. Uh, let's just wait for the mobs to come down. If they will. There we go, there's one. Yeah, it's a pretty crazy farm. Uh, it's not as efficient as Mumbo's, unfortunately. I'll have to find out ways to bump up the rates. They seem to be pretty effective and pretty consistent, though. So I like it. Uh, they're not being dropped from high enough for some of them survive and do not take full damage. I cannot figure out why. Uh, if we can actually uh, go through the uh, the great things. It's because I me measured exactly 24 blocks and then mobs like witches are very inconsistent. And if I can... Yeah, you can see some landed on that thing and survived, which kind of sucks. You have to do something about that, but eventually, but if, overall, this is a pretty effective mob farm. I really do like it. AFK at 10 minute in 10, it took 10 minutes of AFKing, and this is how much right, I got. Anyways, I'm going to end off today's video here. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to give a like and maybe even subscribe for more. But anyways, I am Duo, and I will catch you all next time. So, I will see you then. Bye.